Hey there! I've had a lot of review requests for the Pelican M400, uh, and I have reviewed a 400, the 400 NN, but that's a vintage pen. And then someone, as he's out from gourmetpens.com, a uh, fellow reviewer, uh, was kind enough to lend me hers for a bit, uh, so that I could try it out and, and see a modern Pelican M400 in action. And she didn't just send me any M400, she sent me the tortoise shell uh, that was limited edition uh, M400. Nice pen. Let's talk about the parts of the pen. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then I'll do a writing sample. Uh, at the top of the so the finial here, you get the pelican logo. Then you have the clip, which, as you probably know, is shaped like a pelican. You see the, the, the bill of the pelican, and then the, the head at top. You have the white cap. The center band says. Souverain, Pelican, and then Germany. Um, then you have this really, really nice uh, finish, the tortoise shell, which actually is transparent so you can see how much ink is left. Piston filled pen, piston turning knob with two gold rings, very nice. Um, she got a double bra nib, but it was stubbed by John Mottishaw of nibs.com, a, a, um, a nib meister. I have to tell you, this nib is something. Uh, I have used other nibs tuned by nib meisters, but this one I fell in love with instantly, so I may have to send John one of my pens. Um, Two-tone gold nib. Uh, this is, I thought it was 14K. Yeah, it is 14K, right? Yeah, 14K, double broad, turned into a stub which is a really nice job. As I said, piston fill, so dip it in the ink, twist this, twist it back up, uh, and you will uh, draw up ink. Holds a decent amount of ink for, for a pen this size, which is, I would say, a fairly normal pen size. The M800 is already somewhat large, the M1000 is really big, and this is a decently sized pen. Okay, so, what do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Uh, one thing I skipped, sorry, is the section. Uh, it's white, as you can see, gold ring in this case, and it's a bit tapered. Um, what do I like about it? What do I not like about it? Well, you can post it if you want to, and then you get a really nicely sized pen. For me, it could have been a little bit beefier, but that's why I prefer an M800. I should try an M600, I suppose, at some point, but I think it's a pretty cool pen. Uh, I like it. I like the nib, but as I said, it's not factory Nibmeister tuned it. It's juicy, it's stubby, it's beautiful line variation. I absolutely love it. So that's very, very cool. Um, I like the transparency of the barrel. It's hard to show you because the light is coming from uh, towards me, but if I hold it up to the light, I can very easily see the ink level. Very cool in a, dem in, in a piston filled pen because you cannot just unscrew it and see how much is left in the converter or the cartridge. I think that's very cool. A uh, nice size. I think it's a very cool pen, and of course, this limited edition is gorgeous. I mean, the, the, the white and tortoise shell works very, very well. Um, so I think it's a very, very cool, cool pen design. So I think we need to take a few measurements. Capped, I have 125 millimeters. I've just torn apart of my calipers, but it's back on. Uncapped, I have. 121 millimeters, section diameter 9 millimeters, and uh, at the widest point 10 millimeters of the section. Uh, other things I really don't like about this pen, no. It could have been a bit bigger. If this was M1000 size, I would own one. But for me, it's a little bit on the small side, but that's personal preference. Apart from that, I like everything about the pen. Super cool. So, I hope this was useful. Writing sample. The pen weighs 10 grams, I nearly forgot, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, writing with the Pelican M400 in tortoise. The nib is a double broad, now turned into a stub by John Mottishaw, as I explained in the video. 
and uh, the uh, ink is raw und klingner alt gold grün very nice ink let's do a bit of writing normal writing really 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 pleasant nib to use I really love this one um, fast writing the only skips here have been caused by me by angling the pen incorrectly so quickly um, but it's superb excellent flow and the line variation is beautiful. I'll come back to that in a second. As to wetness, you can see here you get really good flow, uh, a nice wet line, superb. Now, this being a stub, the pen has natural line variation. This is the same amount of pressure, but you can see that these diagonal up or down strokes um, from left to right uh, give you a, a, a fairly thin line, whereas these ones going downwards upwards give you a, a somewhat broader line. It's a nice bit of variation which I like a lot. But apart from that you can actually exert a bit of pressure as you write and then the tines open up and you get an even broader line. Uh, it is 14k, it is a bit springy and the result with that nib shape and a bit of flex combined gives you a superb bit of line variation which I absolutely love. Put a good shading ink in this like this one uh, and you can really have some fun. So I think it's a very very cool pen. Now writing upside down, reverse writing remarkably smooth but very dry. And as you can see the pen will actually stop writing at some point. So that's not possible but as I said the nib has been modified by John Martyshaw of nibs.com um, which means that um, it probably it was stubbed a bit of the tipping may have no, it's still some tipping on there. Maybe with a, a, a standard factory round nib that would not be an issue. So, I think this is a very nice pen and a superb nib. Uh, I hope this was useful and um, I'll see you later. Bye bye.